Olá, chamo-me Nuno André. Hello, my name is Nuno André and I work as a senior application engineer for VPI Photonics. In this video, I would like to show you how you can use LabExpert to control laboratory instruments in order to transmit, receive and process experimental signals. More specifically, we will be creating a DMT signal, transmit it over a real link, receive it and process it using our design suite. Here at VPI Photonics, we love lab instruments. Below, we have a Tektronix 70000 series AWG, on top, a DPO 70000SX real-time oscilloscope, also from Tektronix. The single output of the AWG is connected to one of the four oscilloscope channels. OFTM is a type of frequency division multiplexing, known by the acronym FDM. FDM carriers require guard bands to prevent interference. In OFTM, however, subcarriers are allowed to overlap, but this does not cause interference as the subcarriers are all centered at integer multiples of the subcarrier symbol rate. They are therefore orthogonal, and hence we use the term orthogonal FDM or OFTM. OFTM carriers transmit symbols in a group called a frame with their symbol periods aligned in time. In the frequency domain, the subcarrier spectra are sync functions, as you can see here. The spectrum of each subcarrier has nulls at exactly the center frequencies of all other subcarriers, showing that they are orthogonal. Bits are initially mapped onto symbols depending on the modulation format employed. These are then passed to an inverse fast Fourier transform or IFFT, to create a time domain signal. A cyclic prefix is added and the signal is passed to the DAC for transmission. The cyclic prefix is basically a repetition of part of the OFDM frame to combat inter-symbol interference. The output of the IFFT has two components, real and imaginary. This can be passed to an IQ modulator to modulate the intensity and phase of an optical carrier. The signal is decoded in the inverse manner. VPI Design Suite offers complete control of the generation and decoding of OFDM signals. For more information, please check the demos shown here. Discrete Multitone, or DMT, is a special type of OFDM where, instead of real and imaginary outputs, the generated signal is real valued. To achieve this, the OFTM coder is altered so that half of the inputs are complex conjugates of the other half. The empty signals are especially suitable for intensity modulation direct detection systems. To illustrate how easy it is to migrate from pure simulations to laboratory experiments, we start with one of design suites built-in demos, OFTM for optical access. It can be found under Optical Systems Demos, Access and Aggregation, and finally PON. Let's now remove the entire optical path from the laser biasing to the resampling block before the clock synchronization. In order to add LabExpert modules to this schematic, we need to change the product set. The DMT signal will be fed to the generic AWG interface module. To access the signal captured by the oscilloscope, we use the generic oscilloscope module. Finally, to allow for settling time, we connect the weight module between the AWG and scope modules and set it to several seconds. Now, we set the device sample rate to 50 GHz. The Visa resource string is set to use the VXI11 protocol. The oscilloscope module is also configured. The input files with commands to be sent to the devices are copied to the inputs folder. Finally, the baud rate is changed to 15 gigabaud. Note that as we are using DMT, we need to set it to 30 gigabaud as the FFT has doubled the size. We can now run the setup. Here, we can see the constellations of the eight transmitted subcarriers, along with the transmitted and received spectra. The symbol error rate is also seen plotted for all subcarriers. 
One of the advantages of using LabExpert is to enable automation of experimental test beds. In this case, we demonstrate beaten power loading to increase system capacity while ensuring a minimum performance metric for all the subcarriers. The algorithm used is the one available in the demo. Using the provided Python file as a template, we can easily replace it with any custom algorithm. It allows us to compare the performance of different beaten power loading schemes using a real experimental setup. We now use the values found by the algorithm to perform a final run in order to test the performance of the optimized system. We now see that similar rate per subcarrier exhibits less variation, and the subcarriers that were previously unusable now have sufficient SNR to be able to transmit information. As you can see, it is quite simple to use LabExpert with your schematics. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, visit the links below.